What is going on YouTube? Hina back making another brand new crypto TV episode. In today's video, we are going to be looking at XRP, Ethereum, Bitcoin, Litecoin, as well as the S&P 500. I think I'm going to choose a different cryptocurrency come tomorrow. I do just want to look at Litecoin once again for today. As you guys know, I like to do a different crypto on the channel every single week with your guys' help. So definitely make sure to comment your favorite altcoin that you would like to see reviewed here for tomorrow's episode so we can change things up and not look at Litecoin. Uh, more importantly, what we're going to be looking at in today's video is the ever so increasing price. And we're starting to see a rise in some of these major cryptocurrencies. Uh, more specifically, we kind of bounced off of bottom support on Bitcoin, seeing a 30K run all the way up to about 34,000, which is pretty much exactly where we said we were going to. We talked about this about two days ago as 30K was a major support level for Bitcoin and some of these other cryptocurrencies. And the second we hit resistance, there should be a good chance of a decline in price but we're going to show you guys all that in the charts in a minute also guys today's video is sponsored by sportx.bet so if you're into sports and you're also into betting on sports or think you can handle it i definitely recommend checking out sportx.bet because they are one of the top crypto projects out there for betting on sports teams as well as which we will talk about at the end of today's video other types of betting as well on you betting on cryptocurrency so if you believe that the markets are going to continue to head down at 10k for bitcoin you can also bet on it and make some money that way so stick around to the end of today's video where we will be reviewing that otherwise guys if you are new to the channel definitely make sure to subscribe turn on post notifications smash the like button for the youtube algorithm and let's jump into today's episode All right, guys, so what is it that I want to talk about in today's video? As you guys can see, um, global coin market cap is 1.37, about 0 0.05 trillion uh, has been increased since yesterday. We're up about 5% overall. Top 10 cryptocurrencies all look okay. More or less, we're just consolidating. We're up 4% on Bitcoin, 9 on Ethereum, Doge is up 4.2. It's pretty insane actually to see Doge uh, trading as the number six token. Just the fact that it's trading in between the top 10 gives this coin enough volume to just n pretty much keep it moving for probably the remainder of its life. It's pretty nuts just to see the amount of volume that is coming into this crypto. Once you pretty much make it to the top 10, it's hard to kind of leave. Uh, we do have like uh, Litecoin obviously leaving, which used to be like three or four, uh, as other and better cryptocurrencies have replaced it. But uh, what I wanted to look at was more importantly, these cryptos. You can see if we look at the top like three or four that I have pulled up here. You can see the way XRP's pattern is forming. You can see the way Ethereum's pattern is forming, Bitcoin, and then Litecoin. So hopefully you guys remember, I made a video about two days ago where we discussed that Bitcoin was retesting its bottom support level. We made it very clear, and you can easily go back two days ago and watch my video then, but we made it very clear for Bitcoin that once we retest bottom support right here, if we don't break through and we close the uh, candle above it, there's a good chance we'll buy in for a leverage to the upside and then we'll probably hit our downtrend. If we see the price close below our 30K support level, we can anticipate a correction to the downside where prices will ultimately start to reverse lower and correct back down. We also discussed if we closed back above here and we closed the support level above our support, or sorry, we closed the price above our support level here at 30K, let's say we closed at 31 or whatever, we would buy in for a leverage, a small, slightly aggressive swing to the upside up to the top resistance. And you can see how perfectly that actually played out for us. So we actually closed two days ago, the candle above support. Once we locked that in, that was a good opportunity to buy in. And then from 32K, you were able to make a fairly nice profit all the way up to 34 uh, and change 34,700. We discussed this in depth yesterday. We even made an update for yesterday's video talking about how it was a good buying opportunity and to leverage this up until we hit the top resistance. We then discussed that, okay, if you have a stop loss open, let's say you have one closer to 33,000, that this, uh, if in case it decides to correct lower, would liquidate you out and at least lock you into some profits. Or let's say prices don't get rejected off top resistance, which is kind of unlikely, granted that we've been inside some sort of descending fractal for quite some time now. But let's say for whatever reason we don't, we could uh, obviously swing it back up to 40K and still have that stop loss in 
to capitalize us on a run. But regardless, we are seemingly hitting that downtrend here, this descending fractal. We hit the top resistance, and now we are starting to correct lower. So very interesting if you ask me. We're starting the bottom off at support here. Um, we're going to have to see how the market wants to continue to play out, but things are starting to switch fairly bearish. I would pretty much exit my trade at this point right now because I do believe we are going to now come back down to retest 31,000. This could also be a good short opportunity for some of you guys, but like I say, I don't like to trade inside these channels here. If you want to be an aggressive style of trader uh, and you want to use this downtrend, uh, this downtrend as a means of resistance, you could buy in here anticipating a short to the downside. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, but for the most part, I probably see this just waiting to correct back down and then we'll figure things out, or at least for me, when we come back to bottom support. Uh, more importantly, how is that going to play out with the rest of the cryptos? As you guys know, Bitcoin's pattern, this descending pattern, uh, descending fractal does have a downtrend. It's very similar to the descending fractal that's forming on Litecoin and Ethereum and XRP. So they all seem to have a downtrend that end right about the 10th to the 11th for XRP. It's right about the 6th. So it's uh, pretty much the next week or two where we're going to be retesting this top resistance. As we know, we've made it very clear that there's going to be a major breach in volume if we see prices close below, close below these major support levels on these cryptos. So if we see XRP break below our support of 60 cents, close something closer to uh, 52 cents, if not a little lower, that's opportunity to short it down to 23 cents. Now, personally, if I was to be buying in, which I will be, uh, but if you guys were interested in learning how and what my idea would be to buy and sell into this crypto, I wouldn't wait for XRP to make the confirmation below 55 cents. I would wait for Bitcoin to make the converse, uh, you know, to make the confirmation below its support of 30k. If we know and we get confirmation that Bitcoin closed below $30,000, XRP, regardless of even if it closes only at 55, or we close below this little wick right here and we close at 47, it's enough confirmation on Bitcoin to show us that we're entering that bear market to confirm a correction. So right now we did make good profit off of this small little leap from 30K all the way up to about 34 and change, 34.5. And until then, we are now just correct, uh, consolidating and correcting sideways. And this is probably going to continue to play out for the next couple of days. Anticipate maybe a small dip back down to support. We're going to be retesting 30K very soon. And it seems like at some point, one or another, we are not going to be able to hold above 30K. And we should anticipate the reversal where we know would swing us down from 30K down to $20,000. And hopefully that would be a reference to the bottom. I don't think it would be, but we'd be getting very close to finishing it uh, if you ask me. You can see right here what that would actually look like from the top resistance that we had to currently right now we're only down 50 percent down to this level we're down to 70 down to 10 12k we're down to about 80 so we could easily hit ten thousand dollars i hope you guys understand that hopefully this happens sooner than later honestly if we see prices correct all the way back down to twelve thousand dollars within the next month or two it might actually give us enough of a quicker recovery to the upside if we hit 12k in like two months that may actually enter us back into a bull market much sooner than we had anticipated. Maybe it won't be three years of waiting. Maybe it'll only be, you know, six months, which would be so much better and more realistic for a lot of people. And I think it's going to be quicker, too, because there's so many more people looking at crypto. It's so much easier to buy and sell cryptocurrency. It's so much easier to get involved in cryptocurrency that it might actually be uh, an easier way for or a shorter time period for this market to enter that bearish market and, and consolidate back into a bull. Now, honestly, it's really just being patient, waiting on XRP. I mean, I made enough profit off this small little leverage trade here that I'm good as a conservative trader waiting for the next ones to enter. Um, I still am very bearish. Don't get me wrong. I still believe markets are going to be reversing much lower. But until then, we can still just play it safe, wait for the consolidation. As you can see, all these cryptocurrencies are just flashing signs that we want to break downwards. You can see on um, XRP right here, prices are still you know teeter-tottering on support. Ethereum is hitting its top resistance here, which is most definitely going to reverse lower, and I'm anticipating $1,400. Uh, Bitcoin hitting its top resistance here, going to reverse lower, retest 30K. Litecoin hitting or uh, consolidating right now, but I do believe $120 support level is going to be broken. And as for the S&P 500, I want this to continue playing out. Uh, honestly, we did just have a small bullish flip 
bullish cross of the MACD, we look okay. We're just pumping even higher. It's a great day to be in the S&P 500, if you ask me. But um, I'd like to see how this plays out. Otherwise, I do want to talk about SportX. I want to give a huge shout out to SportX for sponsoring today's episode. Hopefully, you guys remember when I covered SportX, uh, I think two weeks ago. But if you don't remember, they are basically the first betting platform that is built on Ethereum and is powered by DAI, which, as we know, is pegged one to one to the US dollar. SportX makes peer to peer trading on sporting events and crypto price predictions more fair using Ethereum public blockchain. In the process, they hope to bring cryptocurrency and smart contract-based protocols to the mainstream with their industry low fees and fun tournaments. So SportX has their own token called SX, which has major benefits to their platform. The SX token is based on the ERC-20 standard and provides daily staking rewards when converted to Polygon and State. It also enables reducing betting fees and governance participation to holders. All SX stakers are additionally incentivized through two streams of revenues, daily earnings and a percentage from the SportX fee on winning bets allocated to stakers. It also gives access to exclusive betting events too, such as $2,000 Summer Open Qualifiers, which just passed, and then they also have a $5,000 Squid Special, which starts, I think, in August. But both events run as part of the SportX Summer Tournament overall. So despite the very significant bear market that we're currently all recovering from and still experiencing, the SX token price not only remained stable through it, but has had several surge episodes over the past weeks, even during the cryptocurrency bear market. So SportX believes that the price is anticipated to continue the trend and rise at a steady pace through and out of this bear market. So another cool feature that SportX offers is their bet mining, which is simply the process of earning SportX tokens within the SX tokens as you bet on SportX. Each week, the SportX team gives away 200,000 SX tokens to bettors. Tokens are only earned on winning bets to discourage wash trading, as only winners pay protocol fees on bets. All SX tokens are automatically transferred to bettors on a weekly basis and remain locked for a period of 30 days. Losing bets obviously don't affect the number of stacked tokens. Lastly, SportX has top tier security on their platform, which means you can place bets directly on your MetaMask wallet and the funds remain in an escrow contract, guaranteeing payouts with no partial payments or delays. They are offering new betting options such as placing bets on Bitcoin and Ethereum price markets and their summer tournament, which is still going strong, offering various events with different price reward pools. New events will be added throughout the course of the tournament, so it's definitely something to look forward to. So definitely head over to their website as their Formula One and Euro 2020 events are still going in full swing, as well as their summer tournament. And they are also doing the best they can to make up for the time lost during COVID and the canceled sporting events that took place pretty much all last year. Once again, huge shout out to SportX for sponsoring today's episode. Make sure to turn on post notifications, subscribe, smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm, and I'll see you in tomorrow's episode. Peace. <laughs>